Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is going to be a follow-up to my recent upload of trying to publish a YouTube video from Windows 98. If you haven't seen that video, you might want to go check it out up in the card so you'll be up to speed on what it is we're going to be trying to do here because we're going to be doing a couple of other things, some additional things that were suggested to me in the comments and through Twitter. I had a couple people reach out with some methods that I could use to actually get a video published from the 98. PC, which would be really, really awesome. First off, though, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody who watched that video because this is insane. Like, I'm recording this video not even an hour after it went live, and you can see from the view chart here that we've gotten way more views on this video than what my channel gets for the first 55 minutes of it existing on YouTube. So, huge thank you guys uh, for, for checking out that video. I really, really appreciate it. So, one of the things that was pointed out to me, and I actually noticed this in the original video, but I just didn't really think it was going to work. I just kind of wrote it off as, oh, that probably isn't going to work at all. But changing the user agent. A user agent is essentially a way for a browser to identify to a web server what browser it is and what browser is accessing the server. There are ways to change the user agent string to something completely different, and Browse Service actually has this feature built right into it, which is really, really cool. And a couple of people suggested that changing the user agent to something like Mozilla Firefox might actually trick the sign-in page that we got this message on in the last video. It might trick the sign-in page into thinking that we are accessing it from a completely different browser. So you see that we are SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi, which has browse service on it. So we're going to change directory here to desktop and it's called browse service and then the browse service folder and i should be able to go up here and i think i've got the command uh, yes right here so this is the command that we've used to start browse service you guys have seen this before but if we add a space hyphen hyphen help and press enter instead of starting it will uh, show you this list of commands here and you can see right here there's one called user agent equals and then there's the string here and it says value for the user agent header sent by the embedded browser default determined by chromium embedded framework so in theory what we should be able to do is type in so we've got the same command called up here we're going to type in hyphen hyphen user hyphen agent equals and then paste the user agent string which we're probably gonna have to do in quotes here so that the so that it won't interpret like this part here as a separate command so we're gonna press enter and that should start up the web server with this user agent string which is literally just my user agent string from Mozilla Firefox which is the web browser that I use so let's go over to the 98 PC and see if we can sign in successfully to my Google account all right so we're here on the 98 PC and we're going to quit out this cool talk watchdog is like has been on here I've just not gotten around to removing it yet yes I want to exit okay so we're going to load up ie5 once again and I've got the home page set to the old net.com which obviously it's not going to be able to access because we are connected through the Raspberry Pi so I've got the IP address here. We're going to press enter and there it goes. So just before we actually try to go to Google, I want to go to, well, we are going to go to Google, but I mean, before I try to sign into my Google account, let me look up my user agent and see if it's working. Mozilla 5.0, Windows NT 10.0, Win64. So this worked. Uh, it has successfully changed the user agent string. So let's try to go to youtube.com and go back to sign in which should be right up here username here or well my email address which did you know guys that if you have a gmail account you don't have to put in at gmail.com when you sign in you just put your the first part of the email oh my gosh are you kidding me that's all i had to do oh my gosh it actually worked so i just logged into my second account which is the extras channel i just can't believe oh it's playing the yeah, you can hear it's playing off of the Raspberry Pi. Let me scroll down here. Yes, this is my extras channel. Okay. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that is all I had to do. That's it. All I had to do was change the user agent string. Okay, let's go to YouTube Studio here. So I wonder what would happen. Like what I was trying to do, which I couldn't obviously sign in in the original video, but I wanted to see what would happen if you tried to upload a video. So if I click on select files we'll just do the same thing it did before 
with Google Image and just do nothing, which it looks like that's what it's going to do. So I click on select files and, and nothing comes up. Oh, and check this out. So this is the email that Google sends you when you sign into your Google account from a new device. And you can see it says signed in from a new Windows device because it's again pulling from the user agent. Yeah, so it looks like it's, it's not going to do anything here. Uh, so we're going to go back. Let's just go back to... Uh, YouTube studio here. I guess we went back too far. Customized channel. And yeah, I mean, I can change, like, here's the visibility option. So let me just change this video to unlisted just really quick. Save. It's unlisted. So if I try to go to the video link here, it's going to open up in a separate window. And of course, it's going to start playing. Let me, let me turn down the uh, quality here because, oh my gosh, <laughs> you can see it has, it has trouble keeping up. So we're gonna lower the quality down to 10. This should give us a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, just pause the video. Okay, video is paused. But if you can see when we scroll down, it says unlisted right there. So this this took effect. I mean, obviously there's no reason why it wouldn't. I mean, this is like we're logged into YouTube Studio. I just can't believe it was this simple. Like, and, and this was the one thing where, like I said at the beginning of this video, I saw that option in there, like I typed in dash dash help and I saw all the all those commands and I just said, oh, user agent, that's not going to do anything. That was literally the thing we had to do. So I'm going to change this back to public and we're going to click on publish. I'm going to edit the description of this video as well. So let's just click on edit here. So we're going to go down here and today's date is January. Oh, it's taking a little while here. Let me let me lower the quality again. This is one of the nice things about browse services. You can change the image quality because trying to watch, well, really trying to go to these advanced websites, especially like YouTube where it's video streaming. Uh, and I do mention this in the original video. It is like trying to view the image at the highest quality. It is possible, but it's not the greatest experience. I mean, yes, you're going to get much lower image quality here, but it's going to be much more usable. So we're going to type in today's date, which is 1-20-21. Now I've just typed it in and you can see how long it's going to take to update here. And I'm going to say this video was unlisted and then set to public again from a Windows 98 machine. And it uh, looks like I forgot a space here. This video was unlisted and then set to public again from a Windows 98 machine. And we're going to say running browse service. We're going to save that. I just, I still can't get over that this is all we had to do was change the user agent. I mean, okay. But hey, at least we know that that thing that Google was doing to, to block uh, the Chromium embedded framework and all other embedded frameworks from being able to log into a Google account, if you can change the user agent string, which you can do in browse service, then you can just bypass that and trick the sign in page into thinking that you're running your browser on a completely different operating system or just a completely different browser in general. But I just I just can't believe that. Just to show you guys one more thing, I'm going to go on my phone here and pull up and there it is, guys there is our edit that we made to the description. So there you go. What we thought was impossible, it was just made possible by adding a simple user agent string modification to browse service. So I am really happy that we were able to get this working. I hope you guys enjoyed the original video and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the first one yet, the link will be down below or, well, I can't put it up in the cards again, but uh, it'll be down below. It mainly focuses on getting a video file over to this computer because it was way more difficult and involving than I thought it was going to be. I had to try like five or six different methods before I was able to get the file over to here just to realize that I can't even upload it or even publish it by uploading it from another computer, or so I thought, or so we thought, because we just proved today that it is absolutely possible. And hey, if the developer of browse service is able to implement file uploading, that would be even cooler because then we could upload a video file from Windows 98. That would be really, really cool. And if that happens, I'm absolutely going to do another follow-up video and we'll take a look at doing that. And maybe we'll do it on Windows 3.11 or Windows 95 to add a little bit of spice uh, to the video. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, if you want to see more like it, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do multiple times every single week on this channel and as always i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video